going on guys welcome to the video i wanted to make a video on how to get through christmas without putting on loads of weight and feeling like crap by january the first <clears throat> it was only the other day when i did a nutrition talk at work that i realized how much people give up their healthy ways and their kind of exercise plan and their any conception of what they're putting in their mouth how much they give that up all over december and it's not just from Christmas Day to kind of New Year's Day, it's literally the build up from December the 1st to January the 1st. Now I knew this was bad, like I knew it was a, I knew it was something that people did, people just kind of did what they wanted December and whatever, but I didn't quite realise that life literally stopped. And I only realised when I was talking to people in this nutrition dog and I thought, God, is it just these lot or is it, is it everyone that does this? It does everyone totally just banish their whatever throughout December. So I decided to make a video on kind of five healthy ways to kind of get through December and not feel so rubbish in January. And, th and these are five tips that I use, that I use myself. So don't think that they're, they're not out of reach. They're not, they're not something like, don't touch any potatoes through December. They're not anything like that and they're not ridiculous, okay? So it's just five things you can incorporate to help you feel a bit better in January and not have to start all over again for the new year. Now I'm gonna rewind back to this morning when I woke up and I made some healthy snacks and I'm gonna show you my day and while, while I go through the day and tomorrow and the following day, I'm gonna be giving you tips. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. So there's the pancake, but I'm not sure this is gonna go right because I don't know how I'm gonna flip this. Oh no, we're good. Oh God. Oh! Look at that, so good. So what I'm gonna have with it is um, some My Zero Syrup and some Truvia. Now, you've probably saw my way in earlier. Things are going quite well, I'm still treating myself. Um, I'm enjoying life, but I'm still, I'm 12, 12, so two pounds over. But I know that that is kind of just that is very fluctuant at the minute, so I'm kind of taking that as a good, good weigh-in. And um, yeah, this is going to be part of my lean day of eating. 180 calories, 30 grams of protein, and about 8 carbs or something ridiculously low. Look at the state I've got this kitchen in. Cookies are underway. I'm just waiting for this coconut butter to melt. So my first tip to stay lean over Christmas is to prepare and to make sure you're surrounded by healthy options. I'm literally gonna have, I'm gonna have cookies coming on my eyes. That's how many I'm gonna have around me, just to make sure I'm not going in for those chocolates, because last year, pick, 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 I put on some pounds last year. So if you can't get hold of some good snacks, take your own meal to the buffet, to the place that you're going, or take your own dish in fact, like make your own dish and actually take it with you so you've got no option to not have a healthy option. No option to not have a healthy option, you know what I mean? So basically like if I was going to a buffet, I would cook up a load of chicken breast and whack it in a big tray, take some salad, done. Pop at the table, anyone can have it and you can have it, that's your choice. That's what you can eat for that night and you have not gone off track at all. Avoid those little pigs in blankets and whatever else they put on a buffet. <sighs> and there you go, that will be a night successful. The best pre-workout ever. And yeah, I am wearing my Christmas pyjamas. Oh, I should bought them for me and I love them. I've literally lived in them for, since, since I got them. Since I got them, I have just worn this. My second tip is time your workouts correctly. If you're going out for a meal on a night or you're going out for your Christmas party, make sure you get a good calorie burn in that day, okay? So make sure you're working out or even make sure you work out the next day. So make sure you're gonna wake up and burn off some of the extra food you've eaten because no doubt you are gonna be eating an increased amount of carbs, increased amount of fat, so you need to metabolize it so your body doesn't store it, especially with everything else going on around in December.
<laughs> yes! This is the best advent, advent calendar I have ever had. You ready? The next tip is to eat 20 grams of protein before you go out for a meal, okay? So research has shown that if you have a little bit of protein an hour before you go out for dinner, that will stop you from eating 30% of the food that you were gonna eat, that you were gonna binge on, and no matter what, it will be a cheat meal because you're so hungry, you're just gonna go for it. So I always have a little bit of protein bar. If you haven't got any protein bars, you can have some chicken, you can have a boiled egg, you can have anything you want, even a protein shake. Um, that would be up there with my tips. Have a bit of a protein shake before you go out for a meal and that will stop you from binging and eating rubbish. I know I look like shit, it's the end of the week. But we're gonna go into the weekend strong. We've got little Frank here. Loving life and we're gonna have a great weekend. Yeah, please. Another healthy thing to have when you want a snack a bag of carrots. Think I'm weird, but it works. They fill you up so much. So get yourself some carrots, even some loaf of hummus, and you can use these, dip it in, and then you'll have that as a snack rather than reaching for the bad stuff. So today is chest and triceps, a little bit of cardio, and then I'm gonna have a bit of a refeed today. So I've just got back from work. Today is a refeed day. My fifth tip for Christmas, whatever you call them, is to maintain the same routine that you've been maintaining all year. Because a lot of people just crash down and they don't maintain it through December. And that is the start of being unhealthy because you won't feel as good, you won't feel as motivated and you'll just feel sluggish and eat crap. You see people sitting around at Christmas after they've eaten loads, it's because if you get up and walk about you're going to met metabolise that food a lot better and you're not going to feel as sluggish. So get up and go for a walk or even just do the washing up after the meal and that will help you metabolise that food rather than just sitting down and it store as fat. We are going to go do a bit of shopping today. I'm tired. Popping in to see my mum and dad and then we are going to go and get some nice dinner for tonight from Marshall Spencer. She don't want to get out. Not yeah? No. Say hi, Mum. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Come on in, dearest. Oh, you can't do this. Yes, I can. <laughs> Why can't I film? Ah, oh, she's used Welcome to it. Welcome to my life. <laughs> 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 That does look like a nice steak. Oh, you got the that does look really moist as well. You can try some. What's going on, guys? Just finished up at the oyster bed. We're in like a food coma. Do you look so low? Yeah. Look, she looks like. <laughs> shopping around at Canterbury um, but that's another tip it's kind of like schedule in your cheat meals and make sure you fully deserve a cheat meal don't just have them because everyone else has, has them have them when you feel like you really need one like today I woke up starving and I've been starving all day 
and I really felt like I needed that and now like it's just like kind of nipped it in the bud it's really got it so don't just have a fully lily shoot cheap meals because you think the person next to you is and I think it's easy to plan them around this time of year because yeah um, a lot of your like a lot of like Christmas meals and Christmas um, drinks and all that are really well planned in advance so you almost know what you're doing yeah exactly it's so in, in between the in, the in between the planned Christmas meals you can get on it and be strict with yourself here we go wow so finally got home we've done a load of shopping hello frank a load of shopping loads of drinks hey and um, we went to quite a few shops in canterbury and we went later so it wasn't as busy this i haven't seen for ages it's called oshi zero and I, uh, I used to buy it all the time from B&M Bargains and we found it tonight in um, Home Bargains or something for 49p and it's so good. It's got L-carnitine in, so it like, assists weight loss and all, but it just tastes like the full full sugar Powerade. That's why I love it. Because full sugar Powerade was my ting when I was younger. Yeah, 40p. So because we had such a big lunch, we are having these chicken sausages. Pretty good macros. Two sausages for 190 calories. Um, 5.8 fat, 1.4 saturate, zero sugar. Don't know how much protein's in them. I should probably have a look, but I'll let you know when I'm eating them. This is our dinner. Sausages, sourdough, gorge girlfriend, and some salad. Because we had a massive lunch. I'm going for the elf sausage. I don't like the ends of sausages. <laughs> <laughs> we are about to go to bed i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope it's been a bit of a oh frank come on come and say bye i'm gonna actually try and be a little bit better this christmas and use my own tips a bit more than last year thanks a lot ow <laughs> see you in the next one